The child protection minimum standards that came out as an idea when we saw the other humanitarian standards uh, being developed and having been in place for some time, like the SPHERE standards and the INE, etc. And we realized that the child protection sector was seen as a little bit blurry. People didn't fully understand what it was about. We were not so united then at that point as a sector. This was almost 10 years ago. So we said, well, this is fantastic. We do want child protection to come out in the other standards, but we actually would be really, really good to have standards that clearly showed what is, what is child protection actually? What are the core sort of components in child protection? And also to come together and decide what are the minimum standards that we all have to do in order to ensure a quality response in humanitarian action for child protection. The child protection minimum standards in humanitarian action, the CPMS, are the technical standards for the child protection sector. They have four categories of standards. The first is on quality response, which includes communications and human resources, everything that supports child protection work. The second pillar is on the child protection risks that children encounter. The third pillar is on the child protection strategies. How do we address those risks? And then the fourth pillar looks at how do we work across different sectors on integrated approaches. So working with child protection in health, with education, with nutrition, and how do we bring those together? And the child protection minimum standards are for child protection workers in humanitarian action. They're for other sector workers. They're for anyone working in a humanitarian response at different levels. So you could be working at global level, at national level, you could be working directly with the community um, or in the community, therefore everyone working on child protection. And we can also add that in addition to the standards, there are also 10 principles that we want to make sure are mainstream throughout mm -hmm. all the standards. So it's including the Child Rights Convention, sort of four key principles and the sphere protection principles. And then we developed two specifically for, for child protection which is on children's resilience and child protection system strengthening. So that should go throughout all the standards and be considered. And I think one thing that's important when implementing and applying the minimum standards is to recognize that these are global minimum standards. So you have to look at contextualizing them for your context yes. and making sure that you think about what does this mean for where we are, for who we are, for what type of situation this is, what are the difficulties people are facing? And it can be basic things like, is there access by road? It can, uh, you just have to really look at the context and say, so what does it mean to achieve this standard in my context, which will not look the same as another context? And that's okay. And that's what it should be. For me, the benefits of the CPMS has really been the accountability it's brought to the sector and to, to us as individual workers and agencies. So that instead of saying, yes, what we do is, is quality, it's good, but having no way to, to measure that and to say, but what does that mean? And now we can say, well, actually, this is what it means. And this is how I know that I'm doing a quality service for children, for families. And you also know that I'm doing that. And children and families can also see that we're doing that because we have a common measurement and a yardstick where we can say we all agree this is what constitutes what is a quality service. And otherwise you could have said whatever I do is good enough, even if it wasn't. So I think that common um, measurement and accountability that this tool has brought has been the best benefit. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. And also, it's been so much easier to communicate about what child protection is uh, in terms of advocacy, communication, having the rest mm -hmm. of the humanitarian sector understand what child protection is. And also when we speak to other sectors, specifically because we have those uh, particular integration standards or mainstreaming standards, mm -hmm. um, which means that it's very clear to say, okay, this is what child protection should do and this is what education should do and this is how we work together, for instance. But I think also, for instance, donors and others are, have also been very happy that they are out there so there is something that they also can measure against if we are doing a quality uh, intervention or not and potentially I, we hope that in the future we can make them even more so that children can hold us, us accountable for what we are doing. And I think also um, particularly when you start out in the child protection sector and when I was first working you have uh, tons of resources and you don't know where to go, but the CPMS, you know, is a main reference that you can start with. 
And so if you're not sure and you're not sure who to ask and where to go for the information, at least it's a good starting point for everybody that everyone's aware of. The challenges uh, with developing the Chaptic Shem Minimal Standards was, of course, that, you know, suddenly we have all these hundreds, really, of NGOs and UN agencies coming together and having to decide this is what is a minimum standard. We all agree this is the minimum level. But I must say it was less difficult than we thought. I think the challenges has also been in the implementation, even though that also we had to some extent an easier job with that than many of the other standards because we could go through an already existing sort of child protection coordination system which has been a great help but despite that you can see now for instance when we did the um the consultation of the new draft um that people many people have still not seen them so we we still have a, a challenge on how to make them even more accessible in the future <laughs>